I want to thank you for joining me once again out here in the old dusty workshop today on part three making this Damascus katana. I am going to be grinding, heat treating, and making a habaki for this amazing sword, so I'm very excited to get started. I want to thank you guys for your continued support. It really helps me to continue making all of these awesome projects out here in the shop. When you guys like, subscribe, share, and uh, even when you save the video, always helps. So I want to thank you for that. And uh, let's go ahead and let's get started by grinding the blade. Um, I'm really excited to also get started on the hibaki. I have some really awesome plans for it. So I'm excited to show you guys what I have in store. All right, so I test etched and I neutralized it and it's really tough to see because it still is at a low grit and it's not heat treated. But you can kind of see some of it there. I did leave it uh, nice and thick. Same thing with the edge because I uh, still have to normalize this. And uh, I'm going to do that in my sword heat treat oven. It's electrically controlled. I can be very precise with the temperature and I can get a, a proper normalizing and then thermal cycling. Uh, you just got to leave your stock a little thicker because you're going to have some decarb that you'll have to grind off. Now, right now I'm just over quarter inch so uh, that'll be perfect. At this point I'm just going to drill a couple holes in the tang and it's time to start the uh, arduous process of heat treating a sword.
before I heat treat, there is actually one last thing I want to do, and that is I want to make the hibaki. Um, this one is getting a Damascus hibaki, so I will have to kind of use the sword itself. I'm going to actually form the hibaki around the tang of the sword, and I don't want to wait until after heat treat and uh, risk heating up this area of the sword too much. So I'm going to do it now before I do any of the normalizing or anything so that uh, I don't risk messing with any of the heat treat after the heat treat is done. I am going to be using a different pattern of Damascus. I have this billet here. So what this is, is this is an eight layer billet. Um, however, the um, 15 and 20 layers, um, I started, you know, with the eighth inch thick stock. And then in between the 15 and 20, I put layers of some 36 layer Damascus. So when I forge this all together, it's alternating a really bold 15 and 20 layer, and then a layer um, that's, you know, 30 layers of normal Damascus. And what that does is that makes the contrast really, really striking. So it's kind of like mixing, you know, really bold Damascus um, with, you know, like something that's, you know, 120, 150 layers. Um, and so it is it's really cool. I have finished a couple of bottle openers in this Damascus, and it looks really, really nice. And so I'm going to use this Damascus for the hibaki, and uh, that will just give us really great contrast between the two types of Damascus. One won't kind of blend into the other. It should stand out quite a bit. I'm very excited to see that all done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to cut a piece off here. I texture it up a little bit, and, uh, and then I'm going to forge the hibaki.
Rocky has been rough forged. And you can see we got a really good profile of the tang of that sword on the inside of the habaki. And we have plenty of material to work with. So at this point, I am just going to be cleaning everything up, kind of straightening everything out. And once I have the dimensions of this just about right, now what I will do is I'll go in here with an angle grinder and I'll clean out the two surfaces right there. And those will be forge welded shut so that the habaki is totally, you know, one piece essentially. It's not two separate pieces down here. Um, that can be a little difficult to do, uh, but as long as I'm clean and do it right, it should work just fine. And now that we're pretty roughly cleaned up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to forge weld this shut, and I'll do our final fit up on the sword. So, one thing I just did just want to mention is that it is not going to fit up all the way quite yet. And that is because the edge here is really nice and thick, so that I still have a good amount of material to grind off after the heat treat. And I do that uh, because when you heat treat in a kiln, um, there's a whole lot of uh, oxygen in a kiln that leads to a whole lot of decarb on the outside of your steel. So you generally have to grind off at least ten thousandths of an inch if you're normalizing it several times, thermal cycling, and then, you know, going into the quench. So I uh, left it purposefully not quite fitted up, so that once I grind down this area here, it will fit up perfectly without jiggling. So, at this point, it is time to uh, fire up the kiln and get this normalized and heat treated. It is now time to heat treat the habaki and the blade. So I'm just going to heat treat the habaki in the forge, uh, just because that'll be real quick, simple, and easy. Uh, the blade is going to go into my sword heat treat oven. So get this wire through the tang, and this is just what it'll hang by on the hook in the kiln. All right, I'm going to take you over to the kiln, and we're going to get this all hung up. All right. Now I am going to normalize this twice, and then I will do some thermal cycling, and then the final heat treat will be uh, heating it up to about 1,475 degrees, and then it will be quenched. Uh, so this is going to take a couple hours, um, and that's part of the reason why I left that edge real thick, just so any decarb that's on the blade can be ground off after heat treat. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this shut up and uh, get this turned on. All 
while the blade is heat treating, I'm going to go ahead and heat treat the Baki. So I just have this on here so it's easy to grab onto. I don't want to grab onto the Habaki while it's in the forge, uh, just because that'll pull heat away and kind of could mess up the uh, pattern on your Damascus. So I have a little grab tab right there. We are fresh out of the quench. It's actually still pretty warm. And you can see we have that beautiful martensite color here. And you can actually see the pattern really well in the oxidation. So I'm going to give you guys a quick close up. So you can really see some of the pattern in there. So I'm really excited to get to see the rest of the pattern on this sword. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Let's see some back there in the tang. We got the, just the right amount of curvature. Very happy with that. So, at this point, it is uh, just time to get this tempered. We don't have any major warps, which is really cool. It's a really, really flat, straight sword. So, uh, the only thing I really have to do now is temper and... Uh, then it's time to get this uh, all flat ground and cleaned up. And then it'll be time to hand sand. This Damascus Katana has been heat treated. It's been through two temper cycles. And I actually tempered it with the Habaki on. I figured I'd just do them both at the same time. And that is where I'm going to call this episode. In the next episode, I will be revealing the pattern on both the blade and the habaki for you guys and uh, we'll probably get all of our handle components fit up and i have some really exciting things to show you guys for the handle it has been such an incredible process getting this damascus habaki made i am very pleased with the results thus far and i am really excited to continue with this project so i want to thank you guys for your continued support when you guys like comment and subscribe and especially when you guys share these videos that really helps out the channel, helps me to continue making all of these awesome videos out here in the old Dusty Workshop, and it uh, helps me make some of the incredible projects that I get to make out here. So I'm very grateful that you guys continue to enjoy the content that I'm producing. If you have any future ideas for videos, you can always let me know. I'm going to be doing some more uh, shorts, kind of doing like a shop tour through some short videos in the uh, coming weeks, so that will be really cool. I want to thank you guys one last time for watching. It's been such an amazing episode, and I am excited to catch you guys on the next one. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next episode. Let's make a sword.